I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Excited to be here. This is year 12 for you? Yep. What's it like to be that far in your career and to start over somewhere fresh? You know, it's uh, you just come here, you come to work, and, uh, you know, you learn the playbook. And <laughs> it's really not different than starting year one, you know, um, same thing. Just try to uh, meet the guys, um, you know, get to work. What keeps you going? A ring. What makes you feel like you have a chance to do that here? I mean, today, I, right now, I'm just worried about learning the playbook and stuff. Uh, you know, anytime. I mean, I just want to keep playing. You know, it's simple as that. Um, you know. Yeah. Looking at your background, born in South Dakota, if I saw it right. Yep. Um, mostly played in the Midwest, college pros. Um, What's your thought on East Coast, and what, have, what has it been like sort of expanding out here? Yeah, this is the first time I've been out this way. Uh, you know, I love it. Um, great food, great people. Um, you know, right now, the you know, the trees and grass and everything, it's beautiful out here. Um, excited to be out here. Best food? What's the best food? I've okay. had a lot of good food. Yeah. What's, what's number one in your power rankings? The lobster. Lobster rolls. <laughs> How about the feeling you get just the vibe from, from the guys in the offensive line room in particular is that you, you've got a chance to get to know the best here? The best yeah, guys yeah. Um, great group of guys. I mean, uh, you know, um, it's just pretty basic right now, you know, um, lifting, running, um, you know, just trying to get – try to, try to set a foundation. Um, the guys I've met so far have been great. A lot of guys who come in here mention the running is a little bit more than other places they've been. How's that part been for you as far as OTAs? The it, running, you doing extra running relative to the other places you've been? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're out there. We're working hard, um, you know, the lifting, the, the running. I mean, it's it's pretty much all the same. Um, you know, just getting in shape, getting the, getting the body right. You've played a lot of spots on the line, left tackle, right tackle, whatever. Is there a spot that you feel most comfortable with or a side you feel most comfortable with? No, I'm just an offensive lineman, you know. Um, wherever, wherever uh, you know, the coaches uh, want me to do, I'll do it. How would you say you're different in year 12? I'd like to think I'm a little bit smarter. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I've seen, seen, seen quite a bit. Um, you know, there's always something to learn. Uh, whether you're a rookie or you're 12, um, you know I'm just excited to uh, work with the, work with uh, the group of guys that we have, the coaches, and uh, you know, and that starts here in uh, off-season workouts. How different is is from what you know of it to this point? Is this system relative to others that you've been in? Yeah, I don't even know how to. Every everything's different um, as far as you know one program to another, but uh, right now. You know, it's it's pretty basic. We're we're running, we're lifting, um, learning the playbooks, meeting the meeting the teammates, and uh, you know, uh, yeah. How about like language? You know, calls, things like like that. Is that is that an easy translation process for you now because it's something you've seen before? Or not so yeah, when you play in the NFL, that stuff. You know, it's different verbiage, but you know, it's pretty. You you pick up on it pretty fast. Rather than the Iowa guys around here forever. Uh, did you feel it was, it was your destiny to eventually end up with the Patriots? No, no I, I had no idea. Um, you know, my college roommate, James Ferentz, plays here. Um, uh, one of my best friends. And, uh, you know, I just, I've always heard a lot of good things about uh, this team and uh, just grateful to be here. So, obviously, you know, um, your coach at Iowa is close with Bill Belichick. And are you still close with Coach Ferentz? Uh, I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm close friends with James. Uh, I keep in touch every once in a while with Coach Ferentz. Um, but yeah, me and me and James, uh, we go back a little ways. Do you think it'll be an easy transition for you then here, knowing what you know about Coach Belichick and parents and everything? You know, I'm just I'm just coming in and learning every day. You know, <laughs> um, that, those are two totally different programs. I mean, you go from college to you know the highest level. But yeah, I'm excited to be here and um, just help the team any way I can. With that said, what was it about the foundation that you got and so many other guys? get from that Iowa program as offensive lineman. 
this allow you to have the longevity you had this time? Um, you know, I, I, I love my time at Iowa. Uh, they do stuff right there. Um, you know, especially as an offensive lineman, just uh, the details. Um, you know, I started, I had Coach uh, Reese Morgan, um, Coach Ferentz there. Uh, Coach Ferentz, one of the best. Um, you know, I was just thankful to be able to play there. You're on the Bengals two years ago, obviously. You talk about getting a ring. You know, that experience, that, what did that do to your hunger for getting a ring? Yeah, I was actually out. I got hurt in whatever week it was, 17 or, or 15 or 14, whatever it was. Uh, it was tough. Um, just wanted me to keep going. Uh, you know, it was a fun year, uh, good group of guys. and Yeah, I, I mean, you guys know this, but to have fun, you got to win, right? Where where'd you watch the game that day? Uh, I was there. You were there? Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, I mean, up in a press box. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not a nice press box either. <laughs> Probably what you guys get it going, right? Yeah. Uh, Rob, uh, just reading up on some of the things that they said about you in Chicago, toughness and, and leadership, uh, you know, kind of setting a physical tone, what are the things that people pointed out? Uh, is that something that, that's important to you in, in your career? Yeah. yeah, I just try to come to work every day and give it my best. You know, that's what you have to do in this business. And, you know, I've learned from some great veterans, uh, you know, that pass that down to me. And, uh, yeah, you know, I just try to, like I say, come to work every day, put in a, put in a hard, hard day's work, and, you know, usually the rest sorts itself out. James, uh, have a pitch for you during free agency, come here, because X, Y, and Z? No, no. He was mad. I, uh, he wasn't the first one to know, though. Really? How'd that conversation go? Uh, he, he just texted me and said, you couldn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, offensive line coach Adrian Clem is in his first year here with the Patriots. How would you describe what the um, dynamic has been like working with him, and his style, and what it, how he wants you guys to ultimately do that? Yeah, it's been great. You know, uh, right now we're just you know in off-season workouts, uh, learning the playbooks, um, learning the techniques that he wants. He's been he's been an awesome uh, you know coach teacher. Um, you know, and we're just trying to build every day. Riley, you've been around a lot of good teams. What, if anything, can you pick up on about how a team develops in the spring where you know you have good results there, maybe it was the Bengals a couple of years ago. Can you see signs in the spring of a good team kind of come together? I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell right now. Um, you know, <laughs> it's just stacking the days. You know, you stack the days, you put a bunch of good ones together, you know, who knows what happens. Um, but that's all you got. you can control, just – Go out there, have good days, and you know, that's that's a start to it. Going from left to right side, with the, obviously everything's different. On how, how hard or easy is that for you to kind of go back and forth? At first, it was hard. I, I'm a little bit used to it now. Um, yeah, I mean that's just something where you bank the reps, and you know, you just uh, you put in the extra time to get it right and uh, it's it, it's harder than it, it looks but yeah I've, I've done that uh, a couple times throughout my career so is that something you learned in the NFL yeah yep well I actually did it in college too yep. as you got to know guys in this process what, what are your first impressions and impressions of the quarterbacks Matt Bailey yeah Harrison. you know I, I'm in the offensive line room and we, you know we, we we communicate with them. It's been great so far. They're hardworking. Um, see them out there working, and um, you know, we're out there working too. So, <laughs> yeah. But no, great group of guys. Do you have any history Two with any uh, other linemen in that room aside from James? Maybe think about that one for a second. <laughs> a lot of guys in there. Yeah, I mean, there's connections all over the place, right? But uh, no, not not from a playing besides James or. Um, anything super close. Go sleep over his house just for old time's sake. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> What's what struck you about um, working with David Andrews a little bit? Um, he's, you know, obviously he has spent a lot of time with him, but you know, I'm just curious what your experience has been like with him. Great. Uh, you know, he's hardworking. Uh, you know, he's leading the group, and, uh, you know, it's just fun going to work with him every day. Um, very similar personalities, so we talk quite a bit. 
can I ask you one, just one more quick one? Sure. I just know your background, it looked like you were a wrestler yep. in high school. Um, I think the team just drafted another guy who's got a little bit of a wrestling background. What is it about wrestling that, that makes for a good offensive line? You know, there, there's a lot of things, the hand fighting the hips. Uh, I, in my case, I think it's more the mental toughness you get from it. Um, you know, staying low, getting in those awkward positions, you know, fighting out of them. But yeah, I, I think the main thing is the mental toughness that helped me. It's not an easy sport to do. <laughs> but yeah. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.